We left uh, Baghdad, Iraq, when I was six. And we flew into Germany, and the only word we knew was lavatory. <laughs> Toastmaster, members, and honored guests. The English language was the hardest to overcome. We had teachers stay after school. They helped us. We were tutored after school, and we learned to speak English much faster. Like one teacher put it, growing up in America, you have to stay above sea level. <laughs> in the 60s and 70s, I couldn't get enough of playing sports, especially baseball. Baseball was everything. When I went to camp, they let me play shortstop. I'm left-handed. That's really amazing. <laughs> As a, in junior high, I pitched. I won most of my games. I really enjoyed pitching. In high school, I made the varsity as a freshman. As a senior, I was captain of the team. I played three years of football. I played three years of basketball. I had a scholarship to play at Eastern University in baseball. But being first generation, first generation immigrants, my parents bought a retail market in Birmingham that I ran for 25 years. Being self-employed deterred my enthusiasm. I still played on Sunday because we closed early. <laughs> <laughs> Getting involved with Beverly Hills Racquet Club, I was introduced to a game of tennis. That replaced baseball. Tennis is a sport that is, you can be fully in control depending on your skill level. It's an eye-hand coordination. The tennis pro warned me that it would take me two years to master that game. And he was right. I played a lot of competitive group lessons, private lessons. Finally, after three years, I became a 4.5 tennis player. For 10 years, I played tennis. And you get bigger, not a normal bigger. You just, you, your weight continues to grow. So <laughs> you find yourself doing something other than just tennis. So I joined a running league. Stuart Lockman used to run six days a week, six miles a day at 5.30 in the morning. I joined that club. The first three weeks, I was running two or three miles at a much slower pace. Being dedicated, I started feeling better, and I started running three or four times a week, six, six miles, and we were running at an eight to nine minute clip. I can honestly say that I experienced a runner's high, and it was really amazing. I guess they call that uh, endorphins. But continuing running competitively Continue running competitively takes a toll on your knees, if you want to know that sooner and not later. What to do next? Biking, swimming, yoga. Well, they're all great sports for you, but my favorite is golf. I've enjoyed golf. It gives you a great opportunity to excel, be competitive. It gives you a, a great positive attitude towards life because you can play it for the rest of your life. And if I had to do it over again, I'd still stay in shape, but I would probably incorporate golf much earlier in age. <laughs> Postmaster.